It looks like some board meetings I've attended. Uh, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Bloomberg Vanity Fair Climate Change. And Sarah, thank you for that amazing poem, uh, the first of several spoken word poems that we'll be presenting today. And thank you to Simon Callow for participating in our opening video. I'm sure he resembles none of the CEOs that you know. Now, if you don't have plans tonight, you can see Simon's one-man version of A Christmas Carol in the West End, where he plays Scrooge. But for now, let's turn our attention to the real ghost of Christmas future, and that is climate change. Three years ago, the world came together to sign the Paris Climate Agreement. And in the 36 months since, we have made a lot of progress. But we certainly still have a long ways to go. The UN's recent report made that abundantly clear, and that is why Vanity Fair and Bloomberg joined together to launch this effort, because we both care about this issue and believe that by exchanging stories and solutions from around the world, the people in this very room can bring about real change. Over the course of the day, you'll have the chance to hear from creative and driven people who are doing innovative and important work in three important areas we'll be focusing on, clean energy, enterprise, and the environment. And I'm glad that so many leaders from so many different fields, from business to politics to the arts, could be here today. Climate change certainly is one of our most urgent challenges. But if we come together as individuals and businesses, cities and nations, we can make a difference. And not only meet the goals that we set in Paris, but certainly exceed them. So now let me turn it over to my co-host this morning, Vanity Fair's Editor-in-Chief, Radhika Jones.